So hello everyone in this video I'll be telling you how you can connect with MongoDB in Node.js. So there are two ways one is you can download MongoDB locally and then connect with that or you can use MongoDB Atlas in your computer. So both the ways are there. So for locally you should go to this website MongoDB download. And in that website, you have to download this community server. It will be an MSI file for Windows and you can decide for whatever platform you are doing that. You can select your platform and you can install, uh, download and install that. So installation is very easy. You just have to click next, next, next and that will be installed. No uh, additional uh, like options are there. If you stuck somewhere, so I have already created a MongoDB playlist so you can go with and watch that if you stuck somewhere. So I have already given you like given examples how you can create MongoDB server and like how can you work with that. So basically we just need to download and install that so you can do this. And if you don't want to work with MongoDB community server or with a local setup of MongoDB, so you can go with MongoDB Atlas, which is a, a cloud platform or cloud managed MongoDB uh, database, which you can access on the go uh, without uh, like hosting any database. So it is already hosted with a free tier. You can create a database and test all the things. So you can go, with, go to their official doc and study about it. And then it will tell you how you can actually create it. Basically, we have to create clusters and other things. So first we'll go with the local setup. Then uh, in the um, upcoming videos, we can start working with Atlas as well. So after installation of MongoDB community server, you have to install one more software, which is Robo3T or Studio3T. So you can install any of that. Uh, the robo 3t is the previous version of studio 3t you can install this software because that will be a managed ui it will give you the managed ui whatever the database which will be created in your computer so that will be presented to you in a ui format or you can go with uh, mongodb compass that is also like kind of similar thing it does kind of similar things it is a, a ui software that gives you uh, like representation of your databases and collections whatever you have created so actually I have uh, this software so I can use this one the robo 3t so if my database and collections are created so I can see that inside this software so both these softwares are needed and you can go with a default uh, localhost 27017 you can connect with that if you want so you can see that only uh, two DBs are created by me, REST DB and this shop. Uh, if the DB contains some collections, then only these will be visible. So now how can we connect with uh, MongoDB actually? So for connecting with MongoDB, make sure your setup is running. In Windows, if you installed uh, MongoDB as a service, so you don't have to do this step. So you just have to check whether the Mongo is installed or not first. Mongo. You see that I have this version 5.0.9. And for starting the server, you just need to add Mongo here, Mongo. So this will be started. If uh, it is started, you can close this. Actually, I have installed it as a service. So if I don't do this step as well, so that will also work with me because I have installed MongoDB as a service. You just have to press on one check while installing. So then that will be a, a background process which will be running. Uh, you don't have to manually do this step. So after that, you are ready to connect with MongoDB. So for connecting with MongoDB, you actually need to require, there are two ways. One is the Mongoose way, but you will not go connect with that. So let's uh, connect with a local MongoDB uh, package. We, there are two ways. One, uh, the, I am showing you the easiest one, uh, the MongoDB setup. I'll show you the other one as well. So I can require MongoDB here. 
and I can require MongoDB. Yeah. This is MongoDB. I have required it in a constant variable. Now after that, I can connect with that. First of all, let me just add some configuration or some important uh, links. For example, what will be the link for uh, the MongoDB uh, like local setup? If it is a local setup, you just have to write MongoDB and then you can write local host and the port is this one so this is the default port actually so you can connect with this if it is uh, an eightless uh, url so you can similarly place that with this so right now it is a local setup so we are connecting with a local mongodb setup by this url the other one is what db name i want like what database name i want to connect with or i want to create actually so i can uh, write the db name or the database it's name as blogs so you can do this uh, let's create one more thing uh, now we just have to create a mongo client this will be an object uh, that will be responsible for connecting with mongodb actually so you just have to uh, use the mongodb which we grabbed here like which we required here and then you have to use the mongo client object which is already present in the mongodb package mongo client you just have to do this one you have to access this and assign that to a normal mongodb mongo client object or mongo client normal uh, variable you can connect with that now i can use this mongo client which i have assigned from a package from the mongodb package now i can use the connect method inside that you can see here it is asking for a url so i can provide this url which in which i have uh, wrote the local uh, link for the url or for the mongodb database and then after we have a callback so i can execute a function here in which i can provide error and the client so the client will be the object after connecting with the database we can make use of this client object so it is very good uh, let's store that inside a db variable i can do this let's uh, add it here now in db i can store the first of all let me just grab the error if there is error so i can return the error in a console log yeah after that i can assign the db variable again this db variable to the client dot db so this is it so it is actually a method so i can uh, use this as a method and inside the db method i can provide the db name or the database name actually so it will actually uh, create the database if it is not there and then if and if it is created so it will assign that to this db variable which we can make use of in other like requests uh, which we will be creating also i can console log that it is connected successfully so i can add a console log that uh, database connected or let's say mongodb connected with i can provide the url now so we get the idea that from which it is connected actually i think that is it uh, also i can log this db object if i want so what is the db name actually database so this is it if i save this file uh, let's see if it uh, if it connects with that successfully or not so it is actually restarting and connecting with this local setup let's see what happens let me do it once again
you can see that it is logging out the things here it is actually connected with mongodb you can see the console log we added so it is actually connected with mongodb and the url is, is this one and we have also logged out the db object so this db is actually created uh, if we go to the robo 3t or the studio 3t you can see that it is also saying that studio 3t is the no newest one you can use this that one if i refresh that you see nothing is there because we don't have any collection in that so that's why it doesn't show that actually so it is empty right now that's why it is not showing that you can see that uh, collection is undefined but the db is created actually the blogs we will be working uh, on this database in the next video uh, by using mongoose uh, we will be creating schemas in mongoose and then we will be actually uh, making use of that. So let's do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the another one